Okay, today we are going to play a great magic trick called the Traveler. Do you want to play with me? Yes. Okay, now well, let's play. Well, do you like traveling? Yes, I like traveling. Well, which part of the world do you want to travel one day, if you have a chance? Asia. Well, that's great, I love Asia too. Now, uh, please choose one of these. First part, second part and third part of the world. Second part. Okay, great. So you want to go to the second part of the world. Now, in this pile, you will choose a card. Don't say it, just look at the card, look at the flag of the country that you want to travel and try to remember it. Choose one? I have chosen one. Okay, that's great. Try to remember it. Do you like bus, traveling with bus? No, I do not like traveling with bus. Why not? Because I cannot sleep. <laughs> That's a great excuse. I don't like bus too. Now, this is a bus, this is a plane and this is a train. Which one do you want to go with? I would like to go with the plane. Okay. Now, let's look at these cars and say if your car is here or not. If your country. My card is not here. Okay. You can go there by train, but you can choose these two, a bus and a train. I would like to choose train. Okay. Let's look at if your card is here or not. Is your card here? Yes, my card is there. Yes, that's great. You can go there by train. I have never got on a plane before. Well, do you want or do you planning to travel with a plane? I think it must be really fun to fly in the sky. What yes. do you think? Yes, I think it will be exciting. Okay, that's great. I hope we both travel with a plane one day. Now, a bus, a train and a plane. Which one do you want to go? I, will, I want to choose play. Okay, let's look at this pile. Is your country here? No, my country isn't there. Oh, no, you can go there by plane, but you can choose a bus and a train. I want to choose train. Okay, let's look at if your car is here. Is your car here? Yes, my car is there. Okay, great, you can go there by train. Do you like trains? Have you ever traveled with a train? I have traveled with a train before. Now, what do you think of trains? I think they are fun, but they are slow. Yes, they are very slow. Now, bus, a plane and a train. Which one do you want to go with? Train. Okay, let's look at train. The car is here. Is your car here? My car is not there. Oh no, you can go there by a train, but you can pick one of these two. I want to pick this one. Okay, a bus. Yes. Okay, let's look. Your car is here. Yes, my car is there. That's great. You can go there by a bus. And now, I want you to have this bag and put the cards one by one, slowly on the table. Okay. And I'm trying to guess your car. Not this one too. Uh, not. Not this one. Uh, maybe. Maybe this one. And yes. Yes. Put this card on the table. And what was your car? My car was Israel. <laughs> yes. This is real. I hope you can go there someday. Thank you. Yeah, that's a great game. Thanks. That was it. Now let's go to the explanation part. See you. See you. Hello everyone. I am Tuca Darandeli. And now I will show you an amazing magic trick called the Traveler. And I have 27 cards and I choose to use counterflex for this one. 
And let's start by dividing the cards into three piles. And this tree will represent three parts of the world. You can name it as Asia, Europe, or and Africa, or you can just say the first part, second part, and the third part. And after that, we will ask our student and uh, two, uh, which part of the world do you want to travel? And let's assume the kid chose this one, the second part. We will have this pile and ask our student to just look at the cards and choose one, one and try to remember it till the end of the game and do not tell the card do not pick up the card just look at the card and try to remember the card and since we don't have any student near us we will do it ourselves and pick up a just random card and it's Denmark we will put something in here it doesn't matter and we will Unite the piles into a deck and after that you can just give it a quick shuffle and then start dividing the cards. Now you put the cards one by one into the same order, it's important for the trick to work and this division part can take a little bit of time and in this moment you can ask some questions to the student to keep him or her busy and like do you want to travel do you like to travel have you ever traveled do you like trains why or why not just for keep them busy okay now this tree represents a bus a plane and a train and we will ask our student to um, how do you want to travel by a bus, by a plane, or by a train. Now let's say the kid chose by bus. We will have the stack, and in the real performance, you just show the cards one by one and ask if their mark is here. And if your card is here, say me, yes, it's here. If it, your card is not here in this pile, you just say, no, my card is not here. And we will look at ourselves for this video if their mark is here. And uh, no, it's not here. And if the kid says uh, his or her card is not here, we will just say that, oh no, you can go there by a bus, but you can choose among these two, by a train or by a plane. Now let's choose plane and look for Denmark. Yes, Denmark is here. And pay attention to this part. You. Um, as soon as you find the card in a deck, you will have this deck and put this on top of these two. You will always do the same thing after dividing the cards. Now, let's do it one more time. We will do the dividing part for three times. And it's our second. How do you want to travel? By a bus, by a plane, or by a train. Now let's say the kid chose plane. Yes, Denmark is here. And after that, as I said, we will put this pile on top of these two piles. And after that, we will do the dividing section one more time. Okay, now how do you want to travel? By a bus, by a plane, or by a train? Let's go with train for this time and ask the student if your card is here or not. Is Denmark here? No, it's not. You can go there by a train. You should choose by a bus or by a plane. Let's look at plane. Yes, Denmark is here. Now, we will Put this deck on top of these two and give the deck to your student and ask from your student to put the cards one by one and slowly and the seventh card will be your card. And you may want um, to add a little bit of acting to make it more fun for the kid and it will be fine if you just do that. 
Okay, now let's start. One, two, three, no. It's not your card. No, not this one too. No, I think we're getting closer, but... Mm, yeah, maybe this one, but nope. I think, I think this is your card. Now, can you put this on a table? And after the student put the cards on the table, you will ask, what was your card? What was the flag that you chose at the beginning of this trick? And the kid will say Denmark. And let's just check if it's Denmark or not. Yes, it's Denmark. And that's the trick. I think it's really easy to follow. It has three dividing the card section. And after it after that, the seventh card will be the chosen card. It's a self-working trick and you don't have to do some fancy skills or fancy moves. You just divide the cards and after the division, you will find the card at the seventh place. Thanks for watching. Bye.